Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. For your very first challenge in this competition, you tattooed convention style to earn your shop. That day was intense and every artist was under pressure. Unfortunately, that meant that some of the canvases left with jacked tattoos. Today, it's up to you to cover the worst of them. You'll be judged on both your tattoos to determine whether you're headed to the finale or headed home. The most frequently asked question I get is what happens to those poor people that get those jacked up tattoos? Well, the final four, the best guys in the building, are gonna fix those people. We've never had it be this close. This is the real deal. This last tattoo right here, this is it. This is balls to the wall tattoo. Let's meet your canvases. This is C.I. who was tattooed by Melissa. Today, the power is in the hands of the canvases. Each canvas will have 10 minutes to interview you. You need to convince the canvas that you want that you're the artist for them. After the interviews, the canvases will choose the artist that they think can give them the tattoo that they want. Just like kickball. So everyone's been running. This is a mess. Because this is so big and your cover-ups are usually two to three times larger than what you have, I think what we could do is definitely go in here and do a really nice circle, put monuments in, okay. and then use elements of the map around. I don't want this canvas. You have had the best ideas so far. Siad, you're up next. Sausage. This is definitely the hardest canvas. This tattoo is gonna be a bitch to cover up. I fought tooth and nail to get to this point. I'm gonna win this battle, and I'm gonna claim my spot in the top three. The biggest thing is gonna be working with the existing piece that you have, okay. trying to turn that circle into a real circle. I'm gonna retouch this tattoo instead of covering it up, and then tattoo landmarks from around the world as a collage around his arm. Time permitting, if Berlin works, then we'll do Central America. Is that sounds all right great. with you? It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah. I can nail every single skill in this one piece. All right, buddy, you ready? I'm here to win, and somebody else is gonna go home because that spot in the finale is mine. I can already see it now. Millions of people holding signs that says, we want sausage. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Sausage's artwork looks generic and very clip art and cut and pasted to me. There is no way that Sausage's tattoo is going to beat my tattoo today. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale, Sausage. You reworked Melissa's tattoo. To try to do a cover up and belt in a ton of black didn't make sense. So I decided to add something that's a lot more bold and stylish to the airplane itself and then build a sleeve that he can add on to at any time. This is actually gonna be very hard for people to work off because the quality is really high. This is showing versatility. To come out here and show, I just did these big bright flowers. Now I'm gonna do this really fine line detail and really show some nice soft black and gray is top notch. This is such a unique way to put these different ideas together into one tattoo. You didn't just cookie cutter it together. This is what we're looking for. Thank you guys very, very much. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. Marie, welcome back. Your artist was Tattoo Baby. Yes. Today, you must permanently tattoo these hot human canvases with a garter tattoo. The only thing that concerns me is the time for hours. So let's make it work for both of us. Tattoo Baby is an awesome artist. I've seen her art, I follow her on the internet, you know, I look at all her stuff. I thought that it was in the bag when I had her as an artist. You take that level of excitement, and then you get this, and then what? <laughs> I have an unfinished tattoo. My garter belt has a lot of different textures. 
I am not going to finish this tattoo in time. Tattoo, baby. You're a pretty fast tattooer. We've seen you do some big stuff quick. This one has so much detail that I was like, I'm just going to play safe in what I can get done instead of rushing through it. Because it's an unfinished piece, it almost looks like simply a better version of what you have on that right leg. So I'm not getting Gardner from it at all. I just don't understand how she couldn't finish. I was the only canvas that didn't get a garter. Now, you're a young, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. You probably wear revealing material. Oh, yeah. Has this affected what you can wear? I love being naked. I'm yeah. comfortable in my body. I understand. Um, I take a lot of selfies, and I get asked about the tattoo all the time. It's embarrassing to say I went on Ink Master to yeah. get a garter tattoo, and my tattoo artist didn't finish. Well, she is here in the shop. Nuh-uh. I brought her up. She does not know that you're here. What would you say if I gave you the opportunity to go into the shop, confront her, and then, if you're willing, talk to her about possibly completing your garter tattoo? What if she up my already existing tattoo? What Very... if she makes it so that I can't wear my booty shorts anymore? Well, let me explain something to you. That is an inherent risk in the world of tattooing. Would you be willing to talk to her and just see how it goes? Absolutely. If she's in there, why don't you go ahead in there and uh, talk to baby? All right. All right, good luck, Marie. Thanks. Tattoo baby did let me down. She left me standing there with an unfinished piece of work. I've been waiting to say, why the hell didn't you finish my tattoo? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, wow, let me take a look at that thing. Yeah. I wish that tattoo was finished. I mean, I don't understand why you couldn't finish it. Everybody else was, like, doing their tattoos. They all got theirs done. I did not want to rush my tattoo like I've done on other episodes. I wanted to do the best. The coloring, it's, like, faded out a little bit. It looks slanted. Like, I don't want to leave with a crappier tattoo than I already have. I've been noticing as I'm staring at it, it looks like it's slanted. From what it seems to me a little bit, it's yeah. not this part, it's just this little extension. Yeah. It does seem to go a little bit higher. Uh-huh. I also noticed it's like faded out a little bit. Is there any way that we could fix this shading? Because I don't really know what that is. I think that the effect that I was trying to go for, like if it was laying on you, kind of see the drop shadow from it. Okay. So what I can do is I could just add a little thicker border. Okay. And since it is a garter, would you be happy if I finish it with a nice bow? I just don't want it to look like two different tattoos. Like I don't want to leave with a crappier tattoo than I already have. I'm, I'm just, I'm just nervous. The good thing, I think, is that you're getting it done by the same artist. We already have, like, a foundation of what the tattoo is. I just hope that you can make it look amazing. I felt so bad about not finishing. I felt like the ugly kid in the room, like everybody did their job and I didn't finish it. I really hope she lets me finish this tattoo so I can get my redemption. Hi, baby. Come on down. So how do you feel about Tattoo Baby to let her possibly finish and rework? I'm still a little nervous because, you know, it's gonna be two different tattoos coming into one. This is all about you. You know, we don't have time limitations. I'm not stressed or nervous. I'm just ready to do the, a better tattoo than I did the first time. Marie, are you ready to see Baby's design? I am. Here we go. Basically, I grabbed the same elements that you already have because we want it to look like the same tattoo. What we spoke about was the bow falling down your thigh as the sexiest like element on yeah. there, so this is it. That bow is a nice element. What do you think? I do like the bow. My concern is the white space here. That's just gonna be white space and everything, and this would be like the lace border that we talked about. Yes, I made it tinier here because we didn't want to have it like so bulky. So if you see on like one side, yeah. you see how it gets thinner? That shape, you know, gives it more of a flow instead of it being something so like thick. Redemption on the line for Tattoo Baby and some closure for you because you've had to live with what you think is a half-finished tattoo for a long time. Yeah. You gonna go ahead and do this? It's a big commitment. You can also walk away. I'm gonna let her tattoo me. All right, awesome. there you go. All right, girls, so head into the shop and get going. Let's get it done.
You're doing great. It's coming out beautiful. Oh, my God. The inner thigh is so sensitive. She's twitching a little bit. Mm, my God, that hurt. Oh, my God, that's like the bone or something back there or something. I'm really nervous that my canvas is going to tap out. If she walks out of here with another unfinished tattoo, I will not have my redemption. <laughs> Sorry. How long has it been that you've been waiting to finish this? Since 2013. There we go. Just hold on a little bit, and we make sure that this time around, you leave with your tattoo finished. Ah, fine. <gasps> So I think we might need like 20 more minutes. Oh my gosh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be done. Here we go. Wow. You like it? I love it. That bow looks like it's floating on my skin. Isn't that hot? I can't believe it's the same tattoo. That is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you got your redemption. Yes. <laughs> Another redemption for Tattoo Baby with a beautiful tattoo. Wow. This is what I should have walked away with the first time. Yes. Today, you must help your canvas make a bold statement by tattooing a very prominent part of the body. The forehead. Forehead tattoos. Really? Out of control. If you mess up on somebody's arm, they can wear a shirt over it forehead? Are you going to walk around with a headband for the rest of your life? You must use ingenuity to create a design that works with the awkward shape of the forehead and complements the features of the face. Play to the sensibilities of who you're tattooing. They're asking to get their foreheads tattooed. Then be mindful of what it is you're tattooing and play into that. Do something beautiful. Using ingenuity is huge on a forehead because you got to make sure that it works with their hairline, with their eyebrows, and you need a good, steady, solid hand. Sure, you want to go solid white on the stars or just highlights? Highlights really, really doper. I'm not nervous one bit. I can tattoo anything, anytime. A little bit of shade right here. I hope these new guys drop the ball. I want to see the all veteran finale. All right, guys, it is now time to critique your work. Clean. You basically reworked an existing tattoo, correct? It was about eight different tattoos. You showed a lot of ingenuity. You basically redid multiple tattoos and tied everything together into one big forehead tattoo. Couple of downsides, the two sides that fade in, they're not completely symmetrical. The cracks come a little bit of different shapes. If you could have just brought those in and made a more symmetrical shape, when you look at them straight on, it would have just been a little bit more on the aesthetic side. Clean did a rework, a couple of stars and some cracks and a touch up, that's not gonna win. All right, guys, today we're testing ingenuity with forehead tattoos. Let's talk about Clean, who basically reworked a guy's entire face. Not trying to show off, but just did a great job and hooked the canvas up with a much better look at what he already had. Megan, welcome back. So your artist was Taisha. Yes. You must all tattoo a pinup. I want her to be pretty. I want her to be sexy. You can put a bazooka in there. That would look awesome, that like does. she's on like the battlefield or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The tattoo was nothing like what we had talked about. On paper, the design? I'm a nurse. I wanted to represent that. Plus, my dad was in the Army, so it kind of was a tattoo for him. I wanted her to have a big gun and look like she was on the battlefield. I don't want her to be like the typical nurse holding the big syringe needle. And she has a ginormous needle sticking right towards her. At a certain point, though, you let her put it on you. I did. Why did you do that? It was kind of like heat of the moment, and I just felt like I trust her. Maybe it'll come out better than what it looks like on paper. You know that's a gamble. It is. The judges were extremely harsh when it came to critiquing your tattoo. The mouth, the cheek, and the nose make this thing not aesthetically pleasing. Those feet wouldn't be able to keep her upright. I mean, they're tiny, tiny little feet. There's no craftsmanship in this. You don't care enough. How upsetting was it for you that this memorial piece ended up being one of the worst? I felt like he would have kind of looked at him and be like, eh, why are you putting that on you, kind of thing. <laughs> I wanted it to be something a little more beautiful, even though it, it was supposed to be a war, like a war tattoo. Of course. So we need to make this thing right. I have Taisha in the shop. I'd like to offer you the opportunity to confront her and possibly talk to her about getting this tattoo reworked. She can draw something up, present you the design. Mm -hmm. If you like that design, you get that tattoo. If you don't like it, you bounce. Okay. All right, Megan, head into the shop. Taisha's in there waiting for you. 
I did trust Taisha, and I feel like I kind of got played. I hate drama, but I really need to tell Taisha how she messed up this tattoo. Hi. Hi. I didn't think that I would be seeing you. What's up? Well, my pinup, it just wasn't what we had talked about. I wanted her to kind of be a badass in memory of my dad, who was in the army. I wanted her to have like a big gun, look like she's at war. Right. And she kind of just looks like she's there with the needle in her hand, which I hate it. Because I feel like it's like pointing in her face and I'd like to try to fix her. You still want to add a gun to it and all that good Possibly stuff. in place of the needle that she has. Well, I can't take it off and move it. Her face doesn't look so pretty to me either. I would cover her face with like a mask or something. Okay. I mean, I like the think piece. It, it didn't put you in the bottom, but I'm confident I can fix it up. You think so? Definitely. I really want to get this fixed, but if Taisha doesn't give me a design that I'm absolutely in love with, then I'm leaving today without a tattoo. I'm not trying to make it any worse than it is now. Now tell me right now what you would like to add to this tattoo. You can't take the needle in her hand out, can you? No, I mean, you can't take anything out. The only thing I could do is basically put a background in there. I like horses. Mm -hmm. Maybe she could have her, like, horse next to her. OK. She's kind of like overhead with something else. I don't even care what it was. I was even thinking like stars and stripes or just a flag. Okay. Like just black and gray. No color. I don't want blue and red. I'm with the flag, but I'm going to have it fade off at the end. OK. And I was also thinking of maybe some bombs, maybe like standing up, some falling over. Nothing too much, just. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything else you want to add, now's the time. I you think, think that's, that's it? it? Yeah. Okay. This is the ultimate redemption because I get to fix my mistakes. I get to let my canvas walk away, not with a brand new tattoo, with a tattoo that I fixed. She gets to be happy with that. I have to get my redemption. All right. Taisha, come on down. This is a rework a military-themed pinup. What did you tell Taisha that you weren't happy with? I don't like how the hand looks and how the needle's yeah. kind of pointing at her face. Can you fix something like that? I mean, that's... I believe so, yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I mean, this is what I do for a living. I do a lot of cover-ups and I do a lot of fix-rubbers. It kills me to have someone walk around with a tattoo they're unhappy with. I'm gonna give her what she wants. I'm gonna fix this tattoo. Let's see what you got, Alrighty. Taisha. Alrighty. Check it out. I know you wanted the flag in the background, and I know you wanted to take the syringe out, so I added an AK in there. I added a little bit of background, some smoke, and I added some bombs to cover up the feet just to pull the whole piece together. Redemption on the line for Taisha. I know it's an important tattoo. What's it gonna be? And there's no pressure. There's no time restraints. I don't have to worry about any of the bull in the house. It's just me and you. I think I'll let you do that one. Nailed it. I think she looks definitely more badass. The design is totally what I wanted in the first place. Love it. I'm excited. All right, Taisha. Thank you very Good much. Good luck. Carry on, guys. It's a pretty cool <laughs> design, huh? I love it. All right, this is going to be a toughie to get the stencil lined up with the actual tattoo, but we'll manage. This is going to be so difficult. It's tough to line up a uh, stencil with a pre-existing tattoo because every little part has to match up. Can you just a little bit off? It can get a little frustrating. So if this trip I don't get it on, I'm going to cut it into pieces and put it on like that. OK. I'm a little nervous. I want to get it right. I want it to look good because it's a representation of her and her father. Yep, I'm going to break this bad boy up. I'm going to cut it up. It's my chance to like redeem myself, not mess up again. That looks awesome. Ready for some fun? I'm ready. What's the pressure like when you're on the show? When you have, like, so many other personalities, it's really stressful. A lot of drama. Yeah. yeah, too much drama. And I feel like I got caught up in the drama, and I wish I hadn't. I wish I would have kept my head in the tattoos, and that's it. We are done. Awesome. Let's check it out in the mirror.
It looks a thousand times better. Her face is completely different. Her body looks better. Got rid of that needle out of her hand. I really do love it. It's gorgeous. You think your dad would be proud of you? I think he would be happy with it. That's all I want to hear. This tattoo is such a better memorial to my dad. Everything that I originally dreamed that this tattoo was going to be, she was able to make it for me. I'm so happy that I put my trust in you because I love it now. Ladies, bring it down here. Wow. It's a totally different tattoo. I got to say, and no offense, but I have not seen that quality of tattooing out of you since I've known you. I'm like totally more comfortable without the drama, without the competition yeah, over man. my head. I can focus on the tattoo, you know? Sure. I can focus on my canvas. Big question. Redemption for Taisha, what do you say? I say definitely yes. It's like a completely different girl on my leg. I got my redemption. And now when she looks down at this tattoo, she sees that badass pinup. I'm proud of that. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Bye, thank guys. you. Thank you Seriously. so much. <laughs> Thank you for letting me do this. Well, I know for sure this cannot possibly be something that I did. So I'm here to help out some poor schmuck. Junior, welcome back. Thank you. So your artist was St. Mark. Correct. Today, you must create Egyptian tattoos. I gotta hurry and get this headdress done so I can get onto that snake. This is exciting. Looks like a damn picture. Damn, this looks real. I remember you looking at it going, yeah, man, this is the Pumped. It was you darker. Were so happy. Yeah, it was dark. It looked real good. It looked like it had lighting on it. It's faded now. Yeah. It looks like it's 50 years old. It's not crisp. It's not crisp at all. The detail's not there. It's, just, it's a bunch of black. I'm pissed. He was really good at making me feel comfortable. How long have you been tattooing? 25 years. 25 years. Nice, man. That's a good thing. That's a good very thing. Very confident. Keep... Right, right, right. You've got one of the strongest players in the whole house. Nice. Yeah, they're very afraid. He does talk a good game. I don't want to say I'm embarrassed, okay. but I mean, because I was an ink master, I was able yeah. to, you know, meet people like it's you. It's still a cool experience. Right, still a cool experience. But you got to live with it. Experience doesn't outweigh something I have to have on my arm for the rest of my life. Exactly. You know, if I want to wear a short sleeve or take off my shirt. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to be like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, no, nothing's over here. As you're watching the judges' commentary, does your heart kind of sink into your stomach? You need to put some details in the snake, in the beard. You could have lined that out and put some more sharp, crisp details in there. This kind of tattoo is kind of the absence of detail. I saw what your guy's criticism was. I'm like, damn, he's right. Do you want to confront St. Mark? Yeah, how do right. I do? I have St. Mark here. I'm going to give you the opportunity to go into the shop and tell him what you think. Oh, I will. If you guys can make peace, and if you feel comfortable, I can get him to rework this thing for you. If you don't want to do that, you're out of here. It's all good. He needs to not talk, sit down, make a good tattoo, and redeem himself. Because this right here is garbage. Are you heading to the shop? Let's do Go it. Go say hello to St. Mark. I'm back because I'm pissed, man. I want to tell this tattoo artist that calls himself, you know, the tattoo god. You're not a tattoo god. He has everything to lose. I have nothing to lose. What's up, my man? I did not expect to see you. I know, not, not I know. At all. Hey, I hear you, but uh, a little bit disappointed. You want to take a quick look? Let's have a look. Sure. Oh, it looks pretty good. What's the problem? I mean, faded. It's very faded. And then, you know, the lack of detail, you know, the outlining, this wasn't your best work. I think you're being a little dramatic. I get such a response from my fans about this particular mm -hmm. tattoo over and over again. Yeah, I have, I have a rather decent following as well, and it's 50-50. It's After the show, I started getting text messages, hey, listen, Junior, that Cobra man, that doesn't even look like a Cobra man. And it does look like a 50-year-old tattoo as opposed to a one-year-old tattoo. I have like 20 tattoos. I don't like this one the most. I would like to see some outlining, some detailing. Working with what you have here, that you can get more detail oh, sure. in here. For sure, yes. During the time we had to work with, I was trying to nail those tones and make sure that everything was really smooth, which I think we achieved. Okay, I mean, uh, given another session on this, and I really think it was some, some added contrast and saturation, I think yeah. we can make it pop. I need it to pop, man, I need it to pop. It's on my body, I want him, for one day, just say, you know what, enough with the antics, let me sit down and give this guy a great tattoo because it's me. I'm the one leaving with the tattoo if I decide to get it. I wanna see you put it together first. Okay. I appreciate you giving me a shot at doing that. All right, we'll see. I think this tattoo looks great already but I'm gonna take this great tattoo and I'm gonna knock it out of this universe. I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't think this guy's gonna pass up another chance to be tattooed by me. Guys, what's up? St. Mark, come on back. Tattoo God, 
Behold. So you're going to offer Junior a reworking. I wouldn't say it's so much a rework as like a, a finishing session. Really. Okay, so you admit that it's not finished. Well, there was a time constraint. And I, I admit that if I would have had more time, there definitely would have been more. More happy. You want to see what he came up with? Sure, let's see. What I would like to do, essentially another pass of texture and detail that we just couldn't get to the first time. And I'd like to add some, some motion and fill your arm up. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What's this Danish look here? Well, I'm here? gonna like crack the, uh, like crack the statue it. up, yeah. And then, is that an addition right here? I thought maybe like a glowing eye of Rob might, might okay. be something to set it off at the top of your shoulder. So, is that white in there? I would like to plan on doing some, some white highlights for sure, just in small areas to kind of definitely give it that crisp pop that I think you're looking forward to. We're gonna have a lot of black pushed into, into the, like around the face that's just really gonna make that, that energy pop right there. If I may, it doesn't look all that different than what's on his arm. Well, there's, there's nothing really about the tattoo I have to correct. So what do you say, man? Are you thinking about getting this? We got this. Me and you. Uh, so you can take an out of focus King Tut and get it slightly less out of focus. I can't get it to be as black on the paper as I can right, make it course, on your of arm. Course, but, uh, of course, of course. Yeah, I, I think uh, a good dose of black will uh, will take care of it. I know that redemption's on the line for you. I know that line work isn't something that you love to do, but I need you to use whatever it is in your forte to make this tattoo pop. I will do my pop. best. I'll incorporate some lines. You want to make it right? I do. Let's do it, man. All right, thank you. Let's do it. Thank you. All right, looks like we got a deal. Have at it, guys. Am I crazy? Or does that look exactly like what's on the guy's arm? He's taken a blurry King Tut and changing it magically into another blurry King Tut. This is crazy. We are not gonna stop tattooing until you're happy. Sounds good. Going from my initial interactions with you, I don't think you're a dickhead. Yeah. I'm a sweetie pie. But seeing the show, and I saw how you were with the other artists. My aggressive attitude could be attributed to the fact that it's a, it's a competition setting. Right, right, right. I wanted to stay on their minds 24-7. Yeah. Well, I wanted, yeah, I wanted them definitely. going to sleep, dreaming about me, waking yeah, up. Yeah. First there face right. they see is mine. <laughs> Time to check this bad boy out. This looks crazy, man. I like the detail now, man. Yeah, the black really made his like face it. pop out. It looks bold, you know? Definitely not afraid to show this off now. I might wear tank tops again, That's you know? That's what I want to hear. Say Mark, Junior, come on over. Junior, what do you think? I love it, man. Yeah? How do you feel? I'm really, I was worried at first, but I'm glad it came Why back. Why were you, I've never seen you worry about well, anything. Well, I wasn't worried about making me happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a given, but I wanted to make him happy, and I think I succeeded. Let me step back a little bit, because you know what's crazy is it really does read from here. Yeah, the black really makes it light up. I gotta be honest, I was concerned. I was I, concerned too, to be honest. Well, I mean, I thought he was just kind of doing what he does and like just kind of making another version of the same thing. He listened, you know, he asked him if he could just yeah, make it no bold doubt. and he listened definitely. He added to it as you can see I, on I top. gotta say, this up here looks, it just sits really nice. I'm loving it, man. That sounds a lot like redemption to me. Yeah, absolutely. Junior is now leaving with an even more badass tattoo than he had before. Another canvas has been blessed by the touch of the tattoo god. Most people wear their tattoos with pride, but one in seven have a tattoo they regret. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. All right, let's meet your canvases. What are you looking to get today? I would like a nature scene with flowers, butterflies, birds that represent my family. It's tough. This tramp stamp is rough. It's really big, it's really dark, and it's packed with existing color. Whoever gets this is totally 
screwed. All right, guys, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Jiyang. Wrong man. I'm interested to see Jiyang think his way out of this one. Some of these flowers going for the other side now. What color are you doing them? I'm going for red, because that way uh -huh. I can do the butterfly blue and that blue little one that you got here to match with the other one. Oh, okay. And then you got like hot and cold. This canvas is awesome. She's letting me do my thing and just reworking this tattoo and adding to it. Looks beautiful, I gotta say. Nikki's thinking that I'm gonna drop the ball with this tattoo. Her strategy is definitely not gonna work today. This is lovely. Gian's not even really doing a cover-up. He's just reworking what was already there. It definitely doesn't meet the challenge of a cover-up. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp. Gian. Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. He covered up every bad design and line of this tattoo with a new beautiful line and design of a tattoo. And the quality and the technical application of which he applied this whole tattoo is amazing. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Gian is far and above the cleanest tattoo of the day. Do you think his technical application is better than Kelly's? Right. I think it's on par. Kelly's tricks outweigh Gian's. So you're saying best tattoo of the day goes to Gian? This is the best tattoo. Wow. The tattoo of the day that is strong technical application and beauty and fit and everything encompassing, whether it's a cover up or not, is Gian. Wow. I came here to prove myself, get some redemption. I don't know how this is gonna work out. It's definitely a very anxious moment for me. Hello, sir. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming. We'll see what you got. So what do you think about wanting to do? I would really like to fix it up. As you can tell, it like faded. I mean, it can be spiced up a little bit. I was thinking of putting a gun in it. Western style revolver. Yeah, we can definitely do something like that. Okay. You understand, like, it was a flash challenge. We don't have any idea what we're walking to. There's a lot of pressure, and I, especially on that day. I understand with the time constraints and the stress. Uh -huh. I just, you know, now I want to wear something I can be proud of to say, hey, Craig gave me this instead of, he ran out of time. You deserved it. Why don't you go take a seat, and I'm going to put together a little sketch. OK. Then we'll go from there. Thank you. Craig, why don't you go ahead and reveal to Stephanie the design you came up with for her? What I plan on doing is kind of crisping it up and add a pistol underneath it. You said you like really old revolver. I'm going to kind of put some texture in it, make it look like it's been around. As far as the gun goes, I would like the handle to be more swirly. Can that be done? Yes, it can. Stephanie, are you going to give him a shot at redemption? OK, let's put on the stencil and see how it goes. So it sounds like you guys are half in, half out. So I'm going to let this go over to you, Greg. I'm going to let you stencil this up. I have faith that once these stencils are on the skin, it's going to be impossible to say no. To say no. So that's just my thinking. So I redesigned the handle. If you look at it, I took the wood grain away, and then I just kind of gave it like an engraved kind of handle. I love it. Wonderful. You ready? No, but do I have a choice? No. It's cool, like, I'm actually getting an opportunity to just take my time with a tattoo that was definitely rushed. I really just wanted this fixed up. You deserve that. Well, thank you. Even if you did have to stalk me at my house. <laughs> That is it. Let's go check it out. <gasps> that detail. Look at the gun. It looks like it's popping through. I love that. And then the gun has some scratches on it. That's awesome. This young lady has used this gun before, so mind your business. <laughs> yes. Craig Foster. Steph, come on down. Wow. 
The handle is really cool on that gun. And I really love how you can see the barrel of the gun underneath the garter. This is what I wanted. You know what, Craig? When you see a smile like that, you know that's a satisfied client. Am I right? Yes, it's 100% improvement from when we walked yes. up on our house. What say you? Oh, I gave him redemption. So I'm just going to. You're welcome. Look at that. <laughs> see that? And hugs. That's what happens in the redemption house.